Welcome to the NetSuite video series provided by Rand Group. My name is Jamie Setterbow, and in today's video, we will be going over how to create a new customer record. This is the customer entry form. Your screen might look different based on your settings or customizations. For example, your field names might be different. All of the fields you see with an asterisk are mandatory fields, and if you click on any of the field names, you'll get a pop-up box with a description of that field. We will start with picking a custom form from the drop down menu. You might have different forms for different types of customers. Next, we will enter a company name. And when we tab away from that field, you'll see that this customer ID automatically updated with that company name. If we uncheck this auto box, we can override that with our own customer ID. Next, we'll choose a status, then we'll enter a email address and a phone number. Now we must choose a primary subsidiary. It's important to note that you can only assign a customer to one subsidiary. If you have a One World account and multiple subsidiaries, you must create a new customer record for each subsidiary that this customer is associated with. It's also important to note that once a transaction is posted for this customer, you cannot change the subsidiary selected on the customer record. In the Financial sub-tab, we can choose default terms for this customer, such as Net15, Net30, even default discount terms. We can also set a credit limit. And we have hold settings here. Auto will apply credit warnings and blocks according to the credit limit and credit limit handling preferences that you have set up in your account under accounting preferences. On will apply a manual credit hold and prevent the customer from using credit even if they haven't reached their limit. Off will disable any credit limits and holds for this customer and it will allow the customer to purchase goods and services beyond their credit limit. In the Address sub-tab, there's a pencil icon located in the Edit column. If you click on that, you get a pop-up box to enter an address for this customer. If you go down to the zip code and enter a zip code, when you tab away from that field, the city and state will automatically update. We'll click OK. We'll leave this as the default shipping address, which is where packages will be sent for, to for this customer, and also the default billing, which is where bills will be mailed to. We'll click Add, and you'll see that the address up here on this record also updated. In the Marketing tab, we can add a lead source. This can be helpful in tracking how trade shows or fairs were at obtaining new customers. In the co company profile, we can sele select information such as industry type, company size, annual revenue, and year established. This profiling information is helpful for various business intelligence tracking. The other sub-tabs allow you to add contact people, phone calls, files, assign customers to territories, select customer level preferences, and there are even options for granting them access to the customer center. Once you have filled in all the information for your customer, click on the Save button and you have just finished creating a customer record. Thank you for viewing this video provided by Rand Group. If you have any questions or would like more information on NetSuite, feel free to contact us.